Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a fun and unbreakable drone for FPV flying or first person view flying indoors at a low cost. First we need a quadcopter that is cheap and good. It should be stable in flight and can withstand crashes because we are going to crash into stuff at times. The choice of quad would be the SCAR drone. For a 20 USD drone, it surpassed my expectations in every way. It auto levels itself quickly when you return the control sticks to their neutral and it keeps flying no matter how many times I crash it. On Banker.com it is called Global Drone. I ordered one from it and it is basically the SCAR drone, just with a different packaging. Now that we have our RC aircraft, the next thing is to get a video transmitter and a matching receiver so that we could stream live video from the quad to the video display of some sort. I found this cheap combo on DX.com at 23 USD and the video transmitter looks small enough to fit into the SCAR drone. It weighs only a gram without the chunky wires that come with it. As weight is not a concern with the receiver, I removed the stock antenna which is a piece of wire and I soldered a piece of coaxial with an SMA female port. This way I could use a high gain antenna like the Patch or the Yagi for better video range. I also 3D printed a slim enclosure for the receiver. It helps protect the cables from breaking at their soldered joints and also prevent any metal objects from shorting the exposed circuit. To keep the cost low, I used the 10 USD Easy Cap which is a USB video downlink to a notebook or Android phone at home. Using the software for the EasyCap, the device would display the live video even if the video signal is poor. A 5-inch monitor that does not show blue screen on poor video signal could be quite expensive in comparison. Finally, we need a tiny camera to go with the micro transmitter. Here I use the 2 grams camera from banggood.com. In addition, we need a new canopy to house all these electronics. Here is my 3D printed canopy on the quad, and here is its weight comparison with the original canopy. To keep the weight low, I use writing magnet wires from a back quad model. As you can see, the FPV gear is now only 3 grams, including the 70 mA battery. The total load for the quad is 6.5 grams. Okay, after all the hard work, I have the 3 grams FPV gear with me, and before I fit this into the 3D printed canopy here. I'm going to test it to make sure it's working. I have the receiver hooked up to the easy cap which is connected to the laptop. Okay, now I'm going to launch the full screen. That's our ULAB Studio in capture mode. And over here I have a one cell LiPo, 70 mA, really small. I'm going to power on. And there you go. We have the image. Yep. Let's go this way. Yep, really cool. I'm gonna fit in here the camera. And yes, it's working. Alright, I've sticked the camera and the video transmitter into the 3D printed canopy. Basically, I use some clear tape to secure the video transmitter. And the clear tape also acts as insulator to prevent the exposed components from short circuiting with the components of the main board. Now, let me try to put it on and see how it looks like. And by the way, this is the 2.4 area. Notice I have the band the area this way. And for the video transmitter, the area is going the other way. Okay, let me try to line up the hole with the spoke here. Yep. It's going to take a while. I'll come back later and show you how it looks like. Alright, I figured out that the problem earlier was with the hole too small for the spoke. So I enlarged it with this bit here. And it goes in nicely now. Now for the other side. Okay, 
Just flex it. And there you go. It's done. The camera is here. And 2.4 antenna on this side. And the 1.2 gigahertz video antenna here. And the props clear the canopy. No issue with that. Oh, let me get the lipo pack. Okay, the lipo pack will be connected to this pigtail. Only one way you can go in, so no worries with the polarity. Uh, it's a bit short. There you go. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna stick the. I'm gonna put some spiky Velcro over here, and then stick the lipo like that at the back. Well, it looks like the weight is too heavy for the quad to carry. 6.5 grams all up weight for the FPV gear, and that means the canopy, the camera, the VTX inside, and this 2.9 grams light bow pack. So yeah, it's too much for it to carry, and it can't lift up at all. It can only hover at about this height. Yeah, and the original canopy is only one gram, so 6.5 grams is really a lot to this tiny little quad. I'm going to throw away this light pole and feed power to the VTX using the main flight pack here. What I've done is I made a Y harness. Let me try to focus so you can have a close up. Okay, basically this is the Y harness. I have a female JST which takes the plug from the main flight pack. And then it goes to a male JST which plugs into the original port of the quadcopter. And that's it. So no hard wire. Basically I could pull this out, pop off the canopy, and back to line of sight flying. Or when I want to fly FPD, put on the canopy, plug in this port here, and connect the flight pack here. I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Hey, no smoke, everything seems okay. It's recurring in binding mode. Alright, the moment of truth. I'm going to bind the aircraft by going full trotter and zero trotter, and now it's armed. Now let's try to fly this thing. Alright, turn off the fan and fly one more round. Ooh. And that is success.